Right, welcome to the final Inkscape lesson, lesson number five, um, where we're going to finish off the spider. We're going to complete the spider by adding a mouth. Um, we're going to learn how to lock layers. We're going to learn how to use the um, path tool um, to create an ex exclusion, which is punching holes through objects. And then we're going to use the pen tool to create a curved shape. So let's get on with it. So here's the spider we had created from last time. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new layer. Add a layer, we'll call this mouth. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lock these layers here so that we can. Oh, I've already locked them before, but we're going to lock them by pressing the um, locking key and so that we can do the mouth. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the um, punch tool, um, and we can create a, a very simple mouth by creating an ellipse and then we're going to create another ellipse over the top and I'm going to make that one blue and if that was the size of the mouth or shape of the mouth that you wanted you could simply highlight both those objects and you come up to the path here and you click on exclusion click on that and what that the effect of that is is it creates uh, your original shape with a hole in it the size of the object you laid over the top so that's a neat little tool but we're going to move on and we're going to use the pen tool to create a shape so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the other layers so that we can actually work without um, a bit unfettered so let's click on the, the pen tool here and I'm going to create a mouth and, and however you decide to create your mouth um, you can create this mouth and edit it by using dragging the pen tool and I'm going to create these points here. Now remember I said before these these pins unwind and allow you to create any shape that you like. I'm going to create a shape like this and I think what I might do is I might make this just a little bit less drastic and just fiddle about. I'm going to rush this but you guys can spend more time doing this and then I'm going to create uh, another shape starting from this corner here and you click and drag and you click and drag and you click back to here and then you click on this end one this one here sorry and make it to a point and you unwind these and let's say that that will do so now I'm going to colour that, make that a nice pink lip, and make this one a nice pink lip as well. And there we have our basic mouth. Now I'm going to add a quick highlight to that, just to sort of give it a sense of 3D effect. You could fill that with a gradient fill. Um, let's just create a very simple um, highlight here. Let's just click on here. Now we're going to unwind this one. looks like it might be okay. Make it just a little bit smaller and move it into position. Yeah, make it just a bit smaller. I'll make that look like a shadow so make it a bit darker. and you get the idea. There. So now we've got this, now I'm going to create a, another shape in here to make the mouth. I'm use the pen tool again. I'm going to just click and make a three-sided shape here. And Basically what we want this shape to be is it needs to have the ability to um, just be part of the shape. Let's drag it down. It's just it needs to be roughly the size of the lips because you're going to fill this with colour and move it to the background. So we'll have a I don't know, grey mouth, something like that. And then we need to move that back, object, lower to bottom, and now if we click off of here, we have um, something that's not quite right. looking 
better for the minute. We're going to group that. No, we're not. We're going to make a um, fangs now. Let's make some fangs. So do that simple triangle. Again, pen tool. We can re repeat these. Spider fangs should be nasty and spiky looking, I think. And we're going to move that and we'll put that there. And we'll have a another one. We'll just make it a bit sh shorter. That can go there. And again, using that same layering technique, we can um, lower that. So we're going to keep a little object. Let's use the page down button then. There we go. It's finally there. Use the page down. There. And now we've got our object, which is a mouth, and we can group that. So now it's time to have a look at the other the layers. Show these. And finally, let's have a look. Now this top layer here, it, it needs to be made a bit smaller. And the last thing that needs us to do, we need to do, is we need to give him some kind of expression. So I'm just going to flatten this a bit more. And I think he needs to have eyebrows. So again, do that with a quick triangle, simple triangle. And we're going to make a triangle expression like this. And I think we'll make those a kind of a brownie colour. And we can just squeeze these up. copy that and then H and we'll just reflect it like we did before and that really is our completed spider you've used all the pen tools rushed through things a bit quickly but I think you'll find that there's very simple tools to use and good practicing have a go